Okay, we're doing day one of the gratitude challenge, which I technically started day one yesterday, and I've already seen results of it, so I'm excited about that. Um, I woke up this morning to a $434 deposit into my PayPal for something that has literally been holding for months. And at first I was just thinking like, okay, I must not have had any like referrals or whatever. But then I started seeing notifications because I'm an affiliate for something that I made a video about years ago and I added links to those videos. So every once in a while I would get a commission for sales with this product. And I was getting paid like every other month, like a couple hundred bucks. And then in September I got paid, but then all since then nothing showed up. So I was like, that's kind of weird. And then I like looked one day and I counted, I had 33 new emails of like, your thing was approved, bop a boop like all good, you should get paid soon. And then so finally, like a week ago, I messaged the help people on the website and was like, hey, I'm just wondering because we had a whole new system for the back end of people who are like me. And I thought that may be part of the problem, but nobody got back to me. So yesterday I did the first day of the gratitude challenge. And then um, I sent an email to the guy that originally reached out to me and I did an interview with and had like a Zoom call for and has always been wicked nice to me. And um, he, he like in, immediately responded this morning, I guess. I woke up and the money was there and it, a response from him. That's not the only good thing. Um, there's another thing that they've added on that they want me to collaborate with them for and they're going to send me some stuff so I can try them and um, add that to my stuff. Which is funny because I think yesterday in the video I mentioned like I could add ads to my videos but I'm sure you guys probably have noticed like some people who make content on a regular basis in the middle of the video will be like and let's just have a quick word from today's sponsor. And that feels better than like putting random ads in the middle of a video because I don't know what those ads are going to be for. They're probably going to be targeted at you as a consumer based off of what you do and what you look at and all of that but I have no control over it so in this way I don't have to put those ads in the middle of the video and wonder what they're showing you. I get to choose who the sponsor is of that video and you know what I mean? So it's cool and it, and it kind of even gave me that insight because I've seen people do that and I've had the ability to do that all along but I just never did, you know? It's one of those things. It's, it's a self-sabotage but when we focus on abundance and manifesting and gratitude in a way of being grateful for what we already have instead of what we don't have, we start to see what we do have, all the opportunities available to us through what we have, and we start to attract more, okay? And that was a perfect example, and I feel like the block that was there unblocked. Not only that, the next thing down was another notification from Etsy, because in the past couple of days I sold six decks, and that's a lot, because recently I haven't really been having many like deck sales because I wasn't putting out as much content with my readings and all of that, so not a lot of people, and I also wasn't telling people again which is on me like I put out videos right but if I don't say like in the comment section or in the description or whatever like hey guys if you like this deck you can go buy it on Etsy or other decks like it or mention it then nobody knows they exist I got to a point before where I didn't have to say anything because there were so many people consuming my content 10,000 views on this thing 100,000 that a lot of them would go seek that stuff out and it was just like naturally passively happening but I have to get back to this beginner's mind, which I believe I said last night, especially with like the Reiki one, like getting back to basics. Today I saw a reading from a woman that I see like every once in a while she pops up and in that video there's a lot of synchronicity and she's like, it's about getting back to basics, going back to the beginner's mind. You know, like I'm back at the beginning. I'm not at that place where I once was. So the things that were once working aren't working now, but I know how to get them working again and I know how to make it work at the at the bottom level too and it's just like reminding ourselves of getting back there so no matter where you're at in life no matter if you feel like you're you're abundant or not or you have things i guarantee you do the first time i did this in 2017 i had nothing like in my mindset okay i was living in a very toxic karmic relationship he was cheating on me all the time he had already been to jail for doing horrible shit and um we had no heat we had like, I had no car, I had no way away, he didn't want me to work, like, a normal job, um, I didn't have a bank account, he had ruined my credit, like, there were so, so many limits and blocks, right, and then I did this in November, 
and I, I what I did was the first day I did one thing that I was grateful for and I increased it every day of the month so it was like on the first of November it was one thing but on the 15th of November it was 15 things what I'm doing this time is it's just a full page of what I'm grateful for so that I could just get it going um, because back then again I, I didn't really know what I was going to be grateful for so I started basic like I'm grateful for the air in my lungs I'm grateful for the sun that keeps us warm I'm grateful for the earth I'm gr and then I started bringing it like well I'm grateful that I have a bed I'm grateful that I have my pets I'm grateful that I ate today I'm grateful for warm comfy socks I'm grateful like let's look at some of the things that I wrote back then because it doesn't have to be difficult but right he was there, he was a big block in my life, I didn't have a car, I didn't have any money, I didn't know where I was going to go with seven dogs at the time, and when he went to jail, my dad ended up coming out right around the same time, my dad needed somewhere to go, and he also is disabled, so he was getting a disability check every month, so like he was guaranteed to be able to pull his half of stuff, which was just weird synchronicity, right, like okay, he's gone, and here he comes. And I feel like that was also so I could heal stuff around the relationship with my dad so that I could then find healthy relationships with men. Because my mother was more of the toxic situation in my life than my dad was, but he had his own issues with alcoholism and all of that. But it was like he showed up as he was going away, and it was like the support that I needed to be able to do something and get out of there. And then a person showed up in my life that had houses just one empty house that was sitting there and it was going to be open for eight months so I was like okay and she was okay with me going there with the dog she didn't mind ba -ba -boop, but it was only for eight months so I was like okay whatever awesome sauce 1500 a month on a lake got the jeep um all these things I ended up manifesting ten thousand dollars like crazy things happened my work was picking up I started getting online more and things just kept going and going and going okay and it stayed that way for a long time, and then I got sick. But some of the things that I was writing, um, day 15 here, manifesting magic with the full moon, the Palladian lineup was in full effect at that time, life is good, excited for a full weekend of events, receiving confirmation moment to moment, um, a cleansing shower, releasing all that no longer serves, connecting the dots and awakening info, assisting others that experience energy healing, lunch dates with amazing people, more inspired and uplifted daily, seeing connections in all things, attracting abundance in many ways, repetitive 777 messages, <laughs> and that's another synchronicity that came up for today, um, showing me to keep going, Elsion Light Healing, and Elsion Light Healing, this is 2016, I didn't even get to the Elsion Light Healing until I don't even know when. It was years later. Um, it's going to be a good day. I was grateful for music, for dancing, for showers, for brownies, for black tourmaline. I was raking the leaves that day, for comfy pants, for slippers, for a day off, um, making people smile, um, being able to work from home, meditation, number synchronicity, connecting with the stars, uh, creativity, originality, all of these things, okay? So, it doesn't have to be crazy, but when you start focusing on the things that you're grateful for, you will start to attract more things to be grateful for, okay? So um, I'll read you what I wrote for today, so maybe it can help you to um, get some ideas for yourself of what you want to say. So yesterday what I wrote was, I'm grateful for new chances to grow and evolve and to change my life. I'm grateful for everything I've already built and succeeded at. I am grateful for a warm place to live and grow into more every day. I am grateful for my gifts of intuition and bravery to share myself with the world. I am grateful for everything I've learned, and I am grateful for shifts which remove what no longer serves me in alignment with all that does. I am grateful for true love, and I know I'm loved by many amazing souls, and I am grateful for healing and harmony. And then today, I am grateful for my health and ability to do all that I couldn't do before. I am grateful for all the support I have, both online and in person. I'm grateful for learning from my lessons. I'm grateful the only way up, the only way is up from here. And I'm grateful I no longer feel stuck or obsessive as I once was in love and life. I'm grateful for my 21 day challenge being completed. I'm grateful to start this new one, which will expedite change and abundance for me. I'm grateful I can manifest so quickly and I already see the results from day one. And I'm grateful in that I'm divinely guided and protected. I am grateful for my fur babies. I am grateful for my new channel being one away from 50 subscribers so I can go live. And I am grateful for warm food and shakes daily. I drink a shake every day. And I am grateful I can do so much more with my um, time and life to feel fulfilled. Okay? So that's all you got to do. You know? Just do what you're grateful for. And if you want to do what I did that last time, it was just like, I'm just going to do like one on the first day and then 
by the 30th day I'm doing 30 things, it may get a little bit harder as you go, but it, it also gets easier as you go because you start to realize how much there is for you to be grateful for. Like, there's 50,000 things on this table right here that I could be grateful for, and I could just hone in on one of those, but you also want to broaden it out too and be like, okay, I'm grateful for my health, I'm grateful for my wealth, I'm grateful that there's, you know, this thing in my hand that gives me the opportunity to learn what I need to learn so I can do what I need to do so I can be successful. I'm grateful for these opportunities that are all around me. I'm grateful for, um, you know, the free wisdom that's out there to help me to break free from wherever I may feel stuck at this time. Okay, so thank you guys very much for being here with me. I appreciate you. I am grateful for you. And in the end, namaste.